flashing colors Best friend is my diamond, just how the men treat us You should check my nigga, so he got a bag My ex won't be mad when he see he get the pleasure I might have to flex on my ex Yo chill, so I have a story um, as you can tell from the title, what I'll be talking about today is my first date ever. So I'm going to try to remember everything that happened. Um, I got my power food right here. Oh, wiener. Um, the first time I met him, I was really sick. I had um, a sinus infection. That was back in June. And he was really cool, really sweet, really nice, whatever. And then I met him again um, on the set of Dolomite. We... You know, he seemed really, he was chill, he was cool, like, I, again, like, he was a really cool person. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna see where this, you know, leads or whatever. Didn't talk to him for, like, two months. He messaged me, uh, two weeks ago and was like, hey, how are you, how are things, um, I would like to connect with you. Cool. First, it was just on a, um, you know, I would like to go over scripts with you, um, see if you're interested in anything, you know, in the business, blah, blah, blah. So. Regardless, we were going to meet up and talk about the business. On Sunday of last week, he messaged me and said he wanted to take me to lunch and that he would drive to me, because um, he lives in Marina Del Rey and I live in Torrance. Um, he would drive to me and, you know, we would he would pay for everything, blah, blah, blah. Um, well, Sunday comes and I don't know where he's at and I don't really, I'm not gonna message him like, yo, where you at, bruh? Um, so like around 3 ish she messaged me and was like, I'm so sorry, like I got cut up, blah, blah, blah. Okay, no problem. No problem. And he's like, I'll meet you, um, at Del Amo at around 8, 8.30. Okay. So he's late. I'm there waiting in the car. My hair is all wet. My hair was curly at the time. Um, he finally gets there and the driver's Uber, like, makes him uh, get out, like, super far. I'm like, yo, I'm over on this side. So now he's walking all slow to me. Then when I finally see him, he's like creeping out the corner of um, the mall and was like, I'm over here. I'm like, okay, cool. I walked to him, he's like, I, I just, I'm gonna smoke real quick. Oh, you smoke? I don't have a problem with people smoking, but I didn't know that he did. I was like, okay, yeah, do you? Um, so I was like, I, I, I wanna go to BJ's. For dinner he's like oh you know actually um <clears throat> I don't, don't want to go to BJ's I want to go to um um lazy dog cafe what lazy dog um in the back of my mind like I really don't like their food but I'm like okay whatever he's paying so we'll go compromise number one so we go um opens the door for me the hostess is like um you know, having your party and he's over here staring like like no I don't even know where the fuck he was staring at somewhere not the host it's just like in the distance so I'm like um two so we go sit down we as soon as we sit down he goes um can we move over to the TVs because I want to watch the game what did we come to dinner to watch the game or did we come to talk like kind of confused um he's like oh no you're right you're right we'll, we'll stay here so then he starts fidgeting like put his head down like this and just i'm like bruh are you are you good then he kept asking me how am i how are you how are you today how are things how are like he asked me that about 15 times like um i'm fine <laughs> i already told you that then he was like can i see your tattoos i said okay yeah sure i got this i got this i got this this he's like um i have some tattoos too um do you want to see them i'm like yeah they're visible then he started acting weird again. So then he goes, you know, I want to tell you why I've been acting so weird. Okay, let's hear it. He says, <sighs> my grandma died. I'm like, oh no, I'm so sorry. He goes, yeah, she passed a few years ago. What? 
Now, mind you, I should have asked if it was like her anniversary or something of her passing. Maybe that's why, but I'm like, okay. At the time, I was just like, oh God, all right. <laughs> Get me out of here now. So I started texting my sister like, yo, this dude, he's kind of, and he's still like, you know, fidgeting and scratching himself. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> he must be on something. So then I'm like, all right, let me see this dude's tattoos. <laughs> So he shows me he has a, a big old mural of his grandma right here, right? And then he has a mural of his sister right here. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And it's of their faces. Then he has on this arm a whole dedication to his grandma. I'm like, oh, what is that? Oh, nothing. Okay. <laughs> now I'm really texting my sister like, yo, you gotta get me out of here. This shit is... <laughs> the food comes. Then he starts staring at me. I'm like, yeah? Like, what? He's like, what, I can't look at you? No, <laughs> especially not when I'm eating. That's <laughs> so weird. Look, I don't know what changed in him, what was different, but this person was a completely different person than from who I met on set twice. Um, and was texting and, and calling this dude. I don't know. I don't know if he's on a new drug or what, but then um, You know when it was time to go his his phone died. So he was like, um, do you want to take a walk? I said no straight up. No, I don't want to take a walk. He's like, oh, why? Because of that reason right there. I was like, oh, you know what? Go ahead and charge your phone um, Let me know when you get home blah blah blah. He's like, but I, I ubered all the way over here Okay, you could Uber all your way all the way back. You're gonna Uber yourself home anyway. I don't know what he expected from this date, but it definitely, <laughs> I mean, you weren't going to get much out of this date. Like, from the time I, I, I said hello to him and to the time I said goodbye to him, I mean, mm -hmm. then he finds an outlet to charge his phone. He's like, just stay with me five minutes. No, I gotta go. Well, yeah, we'll just, let's just, let's go take a walk. No, my hair is wet. Now I just started finding excuses. I don't want to get sick. Like, it's too dark outside. I just tried to find all the excuses in the book to get the fuck out. I'm like, all right, well, it was nice seeing you. I'm trying to give him a hug. He's just like, bro, get over yourself. <laughs> then he asked me about my ring. I'm like, yeah, um, I wear, this is my class ring, I wear it on this hand because it doesn't fit on this finger anymore. I got fat. And he goes, oh, okay. Like he dismissed it, like I wasn't telling the truth. Like, you don't know, really, like I, I, that's why I wear it on this hand. Okay. Why you ask me if you're gonna get upset? <laughs> so then I'm on the phone with my sister like, yo, stay with me until I get to my car. I gotta walk, like, down a little bit so just stay with me on the phone until I get inside because I don't trust it I don't trust him like there's something wrong something off so I'm like power walk into my car and I get in and everything's cool um, and then he texts me the next day and just said like oh it was great seeing you again or whatever like damn yeah, okay you are not getting another text back and then he texts me again saying that um, he had this book that he wanted to share with me or whatever still no text back I I wanted to block him but then I felt bad about blocking him so I didn't block him but yeah this is the story of my worst date ever and this literally happened a week ago so yeah I got this thing for you thing for you I'll make my feelings change yeah 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 cause I love